Have a nice day, guys. In this tutorial, uh, we will try to learn how to run multivariate multiple linear regression in SPSS together. In statistics, regressions categorized in three types. One, simple linear regressions means a regression with one dependent variables and one independent variables. Two, multiple or multivariable linear regressions means a regression with one dependent variables but more than one independent variables. And finally, multivariate multiple linear regressions means a regression with more than one dependent variables and more than one independent variables. Okay, I'm Dr. Shah Mirzalu, PhD in Biostatistics, and in this tutorial, we try to learn multivariate multiple linear regression in SPSS. If you have not followed Amar Dhan YouTube channel yet, please press subscribe button and turn on bell shaped button beside the subscribe buttons to be notified about new tutorials. Now let's go to training. In the name of God, we start our tutorials with data sets. I provide a data set about diabetes disease. These data sets have some columns, but in this topic, we work with four columns named gender, age, cholesterol, and LDL. Four column data set. To run multivariate multiple linear regressions in SPSS, uh, you have to go to analyze menu then click on a general linear model and finally click on multivariate SPS has opened a new window there is a three place in this window to import your data sets First place uh, is for uh, dependent variables in these data sets, cholesterol and LDL uh, dragged and import to this place, then click on gender and put it into uh, fixed factors and click on age and import this covariates to this place. In this window, there is some submenu in the right hand side of uh, the window, and you have to set some settings to run multivariate multiple linear regression. In other words, you can set your model's terms by click on model in this window and set full factorial or custom terms for your models. Another option in this window is about intercepts in model. For example, you can include or not include intercepts in model. But for our data sets, you have to set full factorials and intercepts in model. Click on continue. If uh, you want to set any contrast or plots, you can use these uh, uh, buttons. And uh, if you want to set post hacks uh, in your models, you have to set blank this place, means you have not any covariate in this place to set post -acts. Now you see that I import and uh, uh, set empty covariate place, then post hoc uh, buttons turned on. Because SPSS set post hoc uh, exams for MANOVA. Uh, in uh, statistics, there is uh, some MANOVA. For example, one way MANOVA means uh, an ANOVA with uh, more than one uh, 
dependent variables and uh, only one fixed factors or uh, and a t uh, two way uh, monoa means an ANOVA with more than one dependent variables but uh, with two independent variables and in these positions you can set postdocs for example now uh, we have uh, to run one way on one means one fixed factors and more than one dependent variables. Uh, we can set a, a post hoc uh, in these positions. But if you import a covariate to this place, you see that post hoc uh, buttons are turned off. Another option to set in this window is EM means, means estimated marginal means. For example, in this uh, tutorials, uh, we want to set uh, display means uh, adjusted to gender, for example, uh, given males and females. And uh, also, we want to compare main effects and uh, compute confidence interval adjustments with LST or Bonferrani and or CDOX. Set compare main effects on LST and click on continue to go to another settings. Uh, if you click on saves, you can save some uh, computations in your data sets. For example, you can save predicted values, means predicted cholesterols or uh, LDL uh, values or uh, save your residuals and you can set to diagnose above the influentials residuals by click on leverage values and i advise that you click on leverage value to check about uh, existence uh, residuals that are influentials now click on continue now we have uh, options in this window. Click on options and a new window opened. In this window to uh, report descriptive statistics you have to click on these uh, uh, terms and then click on uh, par parameter estimates and then click on observe the power and then click on homogeneity test to check about equality of variance and covariance and finally you can click on lack of fit test means five click in this window then click on continue and finally click on ok to uh, see reports of SPSS <music>
and five, uh, no uh, residual outliers. And the six and final assumptions is equality of variance and covariance matrices. These assumptions is specific uh, for regressions, especially equality of covariance. Equality of covariance assumptions will be checked with box M test and equality of variance will be checked with Levin tests. At the end, I mention three notes. First, please subscribe and follow our modern YouTube channels. Second, I recorded uh, some videos in Persian uh, for a simple and multiple linear regressions in the past and uh, I add cards of these uh, tutorials in top of the, this video. You can click on cards and watch these videos and third, I will include a poll uh, beside of this video and add uh, this poll in my captions. Please participate in poll and comment your ideas about these tutorials. Now let's go to uh, training.